Hi, I'm Ms. Wong. Welcome back to my maths channel. Today we'll be solving slightly more complex linear equations. We'll be using two steps. First, we'll solve algebraically using inverse operations. And then secondly, we're going to substitute our answer to check the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side to see if we've done it correctly. So for the first example, x over 2 plus 3 equals 7. We can see that the last thing we read on the left side was x over 2 plus 3 was plus 3. The inverse of plus 3 is minus 3. And as we do minus 3 on both sides, the left side gets cancelled out. So I'm going to skip writing minus 3 on this side and just cross the 3 out. So now we're left with x over 2 equals 7 minus 3 is 4. Now the inverse of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2. So now we have x equals 8. And don't forget step number two is to substitute and check our answer. So we're going to look at the left side and we're going to let x equals 8 on the left side. So we have 8 over 2 which is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7 and that is, is equal to the right hand side. So we are correct. Another example. So this time a plus 2 divided by 5. The inverse of dividing by 5 is multiplying by 5. Do that to both sides and the left side you can just cross it since it cancels out anyway. So we're left with a plus 2 equals minus 50. Now we have to get rid of the plus 2. The inverse of plus 2 is minus 2. Be very careful, minus 50 minus 2 is minus 52. So step number 2 we're going to check by substituting our answer minus 52 into a. So now we have minus 52 plus 2 divided by 5. Minus 52 plus 2 is minus 50, divided by 5 is minus 10. And yes, that's equal to the right-hand side, so we are correct. One more example. So here we have 3 times 5 minus a equals 9. So the furthest thing from a is that 3. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. So now it reads 5 minus a equals 9 over 3 is just 3. And we need to get rid of that 5. So that is not a negative, that's a positive 5. So the inverse of positive 5 is minus 5. So now we have minus a, 3 minus 5 is minus 2. To get rid of the minus on the left side, we have to multiply both sides by negative 1 or divide both sides by negative 1. It doesn't matter which way you do it. You still get negative, negative cancels, a equals 2. And step number two, substitute it back to the left side to check. So now we have 3 times 5 minus 2. So 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 is equal to the right-hand side, so we are correct. Just be careful with this negative value here. That minute, Whenever you see your negative pronumeral, then you might want to divide or multiply both sides by negative. And be very careful with this step over here. 5 minus a is the same as minus a plus 5, so it becomes minus 5 on the other side. Next example. Now this time, we could do the same thing as the previous example. Remember how we just cancel that and divide the other side by 5? But it gets pretty ugly because 13 over 5 doesn't give me a pretty number, or as in like a whole number. So what we can do is, instead of bringing the 5 over the other side, we can expand our bracket. So now we're going to multiply 5 by the first term and by the second term. So 5 times 2x is 10x, 5 times minus 9 is minus 45 equals 13. Now what do we do next? We have to get rid of the negative 45 but bring it over the other side becomes plus 45. So now we have 10x equals 2, 13 plus 45 is 58 and lastly divide both sides by 10 we have x equals to 5.8. Again, we check. So the left-hand side is equal now to uh, that equation, sorry, that expression there, put x as 5.8. So we have 5.8 times 2 is 11.6. 11.6 minus 9 is 2.6. And 2.6 times 5 is 13 which yes, it's equal to the right-hand side, so we're correct. For this example, we have to get rid of the 7 first. So now we multiply both sides by 7, that disappears, 
minus 3 times positive 7, a negative and a positive becomes a negative. So the right-hand side becomes a negative 21. Now we need to get rid of the 3. The inverse of minus 3 is plus 3. Minus 21 plus 3. You can think of it as uh, money. If you owe someone $21 and you found $3, you're not rich now. You're still owing someone the difference of that, as in negative 18. Or another way to do it is do uh, the opposite and then flip the sign. So 21 minus 3. 18 and then flip the sign since you flipped the sign to do the calculation. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. Uh, make sure you remember how to do directed numbers. If not, give me a comment and I'll send you some practice sheets. Okay, now that we have 2x equals minus 18, we need to get rid of the 2. Dividing both sides by 2, we have minus 18 divided by positive 2. A negative and a positive becomes a negative. So now we have negative 9. And again, check, left-hand side, sub it in. So now we have 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. Negative 18 minus 3 is negative 21. Negative 21 divided by 7 is negative 3, which is equal to the right-hand side, and we're correct. But if whenever you get to this point here and it doesn't equal the right-hand side, that's okay. It means you just have to go back to the start and check your working out until you get that to be the same. Last example, thank you for being so patient. We're almost there. So again, six minus four M divided by five equals minus two. So we need to get rid of the five. So dividing by five, the inverse of that is times five. So minus two times positive five, a negative and a positive is negative. So now we have negative 10 on that side. Now, what do we get rid of? Again, some students find this really tricky. That's 6. If you're finding it tricky, 6 minus 4m, you can read it as minus 4m plus 6. So what do you do to the plus 6? You minus 6 on both sides. So now we have minus 4m equals minus 16. Minus 4m, how do we get rid of the minus 4? We divide both sides by minus 4. And now we have a minus and a minus become positive. So m is equal to positive 4. Again, sub it back in and check. In future years, you don't have to write all of this to check. What you will do in a test will be, um, you'll say, okay, that's my answer 4. And you'll look at the question. And you say 4 times 4 is 16. And then you do 6 minus 16 is minus 10. The minus 10 divided by 5 is minus 2. And you can see that's minus 2 there. So you know that your minus 2 and minus 2 are the same. So then you'll know, okay, I'm correct. And you keep going. But for now, make sure you write that down and you can show me that you know how to check. Otherwise, I can't see what you're thinking. Thank you for being patient and going through all six examples with me. If you found them super easy, you can continue with bookwork or exercise questions. If, however, you found them a bit tricky, please go back and watch the video one more time. Pause at the start of each question and try them yourself. That's it from me today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.